Mmm. That is good. It's so good, as the mother of smoke says, it makes my nipples hard. Today, we're making pig shots. Bacon wrap sausage with cream cheese filling and a lot of goodness. Very delicious. We'll show you how to make it. Okay, y'all, today we are gonna make pig shots. I have not made these before. I've seen a lot of people do them, and now I'm gonna try them. Our ingredients are smoked sausage. I chose skinless. You use whatever sausage you want. And then for the filling, I've got one eight ounce block of cream cheese, some sharp cheddar cheese, some green hatch chilies, and some meat church honey hog barbecue rub. Yum. So I'm gonna do a little prep work and then y'all come back. All right, so I have assembled some of these, um, but I left a few because I wanted to show you how I did it. Uh, recommendation, let your bacon get really, really cool, like really cold. It will be easier to work with. So I've got slice the sausage, see, slice the sausage. And then you just take and wrap that piece of bacon around it. I'm gonna cut that little bit of fat off of this strip. Hey, hey, hey! Hey now. I need a snack. Oh, we're running out of your meat. All right, and then you want to toothpick all the way through the sausage. Toothpick it. Toothpick it. Send it on through. And you'll see in a minute why I suggest that you get the bacon really cold before you start working with it. One, it's easier to slice. Two, see how they kind of collapsed a little? I'm gonna have to hold hold them open when I get the fill get ready to put the filling in it. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna make up the filling and then I'm gonna put it in a zip top bag to just pipe it in to here. It'll be easier than using a spoon, especially with this flimsy bacon. All right, we got softened cream cheese, one eight ounce block. We got one small can of diced green chilies, hatch chilies. Um, you wanna drain it a little bit, and just make it easier to work with. Come on. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna put in some sharp cheddar cheese. You use whatever cheese you would like. Except for my hands are a little slickery. You're using an awful lot of paper towels. I know. I should have just wore gloves. But then I'd have just wiped those off too because they'd have been slickery. Okay, this is an eight ounce bag of sharp cheddar cheese. Like I said, you use whatever kind of cheese you want, however much you want. Some like it cheesy, some don't quite like it cheesy. All right, get this mixed in real good, real, real good. Then we're gonna sprinkle in some Meat Church Honey Hog Barbecue. Yeah, what the heck? How much you putting in there? I'm um, just, you know, I'm gonna eyeball it. This is a this is a preference thing. You put however much, however little, whatever rub you want to use. Honey hog. It goes with pig shots. Okay, gonna get this mixed in. See how I like the way it looks. See if I think it needs more rub. Okay, I'm gonna finish getting this mixed up and then we'll pop some into the pig shocks. Okay, so I went ahead and started filling some of these. Again, chill your bacon really well. She didn't want, to see, she didn't want y'all to see her struggle. I'm gonna let you see me struggle a little bit. Also, it might be a good idea to use thick cut bacon. 
so that might help. So here's one of mine that's kind of, you know, flimsy. And then I just used a toothpick to scrape that out. All right, getting it done. Almost done. I got a few more to do. This is fun. Is it fun? Are you having a good time, Bart? Mm -hmm. Somehow I think you're not being completely honest. I'm you. Struggle? Oh. What are brothers for? To revel in my struggle. Okay. So we're going to put these on this little wire rack. Of course, it doesn't help with the bacon being all flimsy that it is still in the 90s outside. That's almost literally like a cold front considering some of the heat we've had this summer here in beautiful North Texas. 96 degrees out there at 6 o'clock. Okay, so we are going to sprinkle some of the Meat Church Holy Hog or Honey Hog barbecue. Holy Hog. This one's Honey Hog. We're just going to sprinkle some on here. You're making a mess. I always make a mess. I know. Okay, so we have the pick shots off of the Traeger. They all turned out pretty good. Again, I think the bacon is better if you chill it really well before. So now we're going to taste it. They've been cooling off for a little bit because we didn't want to scald our mouths with the um, molten lava of cream cheese. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's real good, y'all. I say give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna try. Come on, cameraman Doug. Coming in hot. Don't forget to take the yeah. toothpick out. It'll hurt. <laughs> This is really good. This is really, really good. Hmm. All right, there you go. Ooh. That's a wrap. That was good stuff. Yeah, it's actually wrapped in bacon, as a matter of fact. Everything's better wrapped in bacon. I want to have another. Just because you can. Mm, that's good. All right, y'all come back. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. We want to hear from you. See the description below for details and helpful links to what we covered today. Hit that notification bell so you are alerted when we publish new videos. Check out our website at motherofsmoke.com for the latest things we are working on. Have a blessed day and keep smoking.